Hey, good morning. It's September 17th. It's about 8.05 in the morning. Sun's already up. You can tell by the skylights as uh, the sun's already up. But we're here in the West Texas, El Paso. And <clears throat> I am going to offer you some unsolicited advice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all I'm trying to do, and here, I, I, I want to make this uh, clear. I'm not telling you what to do. I will offer you advice. Whether it's worthwhile or not depends on the point and stage that you are in your life as a man. And all of my advice isn't golden and the rest of that. And some of it may just sound like absolute crap to you. But I just want you to know I'm just trying to help and I'm not going to take anything from you. So... Uh, the premise of the video today is that I wanted to tell you, as a uh, man, uh, I dropped something. As a man, you're going to be given, whether you believe it or not, because a lot of you have had very hard lives. Um, and I will admit this freely to anybody who's listening. If you are below the age of 50, 50 years old, I'm 57. If you're below the age of 50, your life is at least, at least at a minimum, 50% harder than my life has ever been at all. Um, I didn't have to deal with cell phones. You could cuss people out on the phone. I didn't have to deal with an email that they could keep forever. I don't have to deal. I, I, I just didn't have to deal with those kind of things. I didn't have to deal with being canceled. I, I can't even imagine how difficult it is to be a young man now. So that being said, let me move on to the point. As a man, you're going to be given a substantial amount of opportunities in your lifetime, whether you believe it or not. And I would rather you listen to this than be regretful for not taking advantage of the opportunities that are presented to you. All of this is to say that, the premise of all of this is that you, as a man, have a lot more control over your life than anybody wants you to believe. All right? You have the ability to control when you get up, how you move through life, whether you have a bad attitude or not, whether or not you're going to be that guy that causes fucking problems, you're that guy that has to be right, you're that guy that can't keep his fucking mouth shut, you're the guy that always know, has a better idea on how to do things. Or you can be that fucking guy that they told you to be there at 7 o'clock. And you're there at 6.45 because you know that 15 minutes gives you the chance, if you didn't have enough gas in your car, to stop at the gas station and fill your car up. You know that if you had a flat tire, you have enough, enough time to at least put a fixer flat in there and still get there. You know that you have given yourself enough of what you call a fudge factor to explain to your boss what happened and that you're going to do. And if you're going to be one of those fucking dickheads that has a relative die every other week, fuck out of here. My advice isn't for you. I'm only concerned about the good, hardworking men that are trying to make a good living for themselves and that they're trying to take care of themselves and the people they care about. So... Back to the opportunities. Uh, the premise of this is you're going to be given opportunities. Now, I have a friend here in um, El Paso. He is the big boss manager. Um, I think they call him the shift boss. I don't know what they call him, but he's the big manager. His name's Steven. He works for High Ridge Construction, and they do everything. Well, they don't do roads and bridges. But the, anything else you can think of other than roads and bridges, they do. They do electrical. They do concrete. They do driveways. They build houses. 
they do roofs, they do all that other shit. And he hires and fires lots of guys all the time. Um, last Wednesday, I think the last Wednesday was the, oh my God, I'm sorry, the 14th. He asked me if I'd get up because he knows what I'm trying to do to help younger men. And he wanted to, he, he's always trying to help me help younger men. And he said he wanted to prove the fact that uh, many of the younger men, even in even when they're given an extremely good opportunity, they squander it because they're not disciplined and they don't have a fucking plan and they're just fucking floating through life. So listen to me, young men. You have a certain amount of time to prove yourself to somebody. So here we go. And he, he, he picks me up and we take the 10, the 10 uh, west and north, which takes us up to Las Cruces and the uh, convention center up there. And they had a crew of three guys that were coming up there to fix three light fixtures and uh, do some maintenance on a, a couple of bathrooms in the convention center. They were supposed to be there at 7 o'clock. So, now, uh, Stephen picks me up at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, ah! And we fucking roll up there. I mean, he is not wasting any fucking time. Boom, 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 boom. He parks over to where he can see the parking lot and they can't see him. And we have, you know what we have? We have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and it just, it just reminds me of the military. And he's talking to me, you know, look, listen, I'm taking a chance on these three guys. He put one of them in charge and the other two guys are supposed to make make sure the job gets done and all three of them are supposed to work together and get this done. And this job is going to pay $35,000 to the company. And all three of these guys are going to make $22 an hour for the work they do. And they're supposed to be there at 7 o'clock. So we arrive at the latest, 6.30. We're sitting with their coffee talking, da 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 da. We're talking about fishing and hunting and all that stupid other shit. And seven o'clock rolls around. And they're not there. Seven fifteen rolls around. They're not there. Eight o'clock rolls around. They're not there. Eight fifteen rolls around and the truck comes in. And they're just getting out, slapping each other. Oh. That was their opportunity. And if you as a young man don't realize that you're going to be given an opportunity, but you're going to be tested, you're out of your fucking mind. Um, he fired all three of those guys. And unbeknownst to me, he had a backup crew from... Uh, El Paso, on the west side of El Paso, they were up in, uh, it's called Anthony, and he had them stop what they were doing there at a, a, a civilian's house. They made peace with the woman there, and they came up, and they finished the job, and he fired all three of those dudes. I mean, here's the thing. If you as a young man are so comfortable and spoiled that you don't realize that you have to be disciplined. And if you want to make money and be successful, you have to do, you have to give the people that will open opportunities for you what they expect. You're out of your mind. Um, I don't care how many of you want to be gamers and the rest of that stuff. Huh? I want you to sit today in the mirror and look at yourself and say, what do I want my life to look like in 30 to 40 years? If you think you can keep doing the same dumb shit and not become a responsible adult that people can depend on, do not be surprised when your opportunities evaporate.
And that's nobody else's fault except for yours. And no, you don't have to like this. This advice isn't for you to uh, decide whether or not it's true. Uh, anyways, um, I think I made my point. Uh, hope you're all safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. If you can't, take care of yourself. I think I'll title this one. Um, you as a man will be given many opportunities. Are you smart enough to take advantage of them? All right. Bye-bye.